How did I learn to sing? You've been trying for like a year and you still sound bad. Um, honestly, uh, I sounded like garbage for a long time. And then some people seem to like it. When I first started singing, everyone was like, don't sing, um, just play guitar. Uh, and when I first started playing guitar, people were like, hey, stop playing guitar, it sounds bad. <laughs> so you're always gonna sound bad. So don't assume that it's gonna get really good really fast. But the fastest way to get good at singing um, is actually learning rhythm. So before you worry about tone, before you worry about getting really great at melody, you wanna focus on rhythm. So say, for instance, I was gonna sing, we're gonna do Valerie right now, right? Will I have singing tips? 100%. I will have a full singing course. It'll be more like a singing and playing guitar course. It won't be like a, uh, maybe I can meet up with um, one of my vocal coaches and I can ask her if she can um, do like a vocal pedagogy like technique. Um, we can make, maybe record a couple of videos for you guys, but we'll see. But typically with singing, it's just about doing it quite often. And what you need to do is just uh, be honest with yourself and understand that you are going to suck for a very long time until you get better. Now, the best way to get good at singing before you do everything is learn how to get rhythm right. So for instance, say we got this one. Well, sometimes I go out by myself. Sometimes I go out by myself. I look across the water. Actually, I'll give you a, a direct example because today I had to learn a song. So today I started learning a, a Luke Combs song. Um, it's called She Got the Best of Me by Luke Combs. So this is how it starts, right? So there's a lot of information that's being said in that very first line. 17, you don't think that much about life, you just live it. A lot of people are like, So for me, I'm actually going So I'm thinking 17, you don't think that much about life, you just live it. 17, you don't think that much about life, you just live it. And you wanna get the vocal rhythm first because the vocal rhythm is what's gonna create the feel and allow people to connect with you. You can sing everything in tune and do all that stuff, but if you go out of time, people hate it. People will enjoy someone who sings out of key and out of tune, but they're in time. Timing is the thing that disconnects people the most. If you think about it, like everything in our lives is built around tempos, you know, your heartbeat from the very beginning. like everything's about time. People know when it's out of time because it feels out of time. If I, if I go, 17, you don't think that much about life. You just live it. That's totally fine. I didn't even play the guitar, but if I went, 17, you don't think that much about life. Oh, you just live it. Sounds wrong, right? So, um, so you, you want to think rhythm always. Now rhythm, if you just get it in time, you will be listenable as a singer. And then after that, it's about building up your skill set and building up your melody skills. So, so from there, I would go 17, you know, but I don't live it. So I'm trying to get that melody. 17, you don't think that much about life. You just live it. 17, you don't think that much about life. You just live it. And then the next line is super, super fascinating. So if you listen to it, uh, like kerosene dancing around a fire. Like kerosene dancing around a fire. Like kerosene dancing around a fire. So dancing around, it, did, it has a rhythm. Dancing around, dancing around. Like kerosene dancing around the fire, so you're in it. So then I would be like, okay, I got the rhythm, and then I go for the melody. Seventeen, you don't think that much about life, you just live it. Like kerosene dancing around the fire, so you're in it. So you drum right in, ain't afraid to fall, and you give it up. left me and if that makes sense does that make sense how to approach singing because singing is like 
it, it's all music. So in all my courses, it's going to be the same thing every time. It's never going to change. I will never ever change my belief until until I am proven wrong with my my ability and like this is what serves me. But in the past, I used to do how do I get the right notes? I used to care about the note, 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 and it wasn't about the notes. It's about the rhythm. The rhythm is going to isolate that stuff, and then if you can put the notes where those rhythms are, ooh, that's just that's the great stuff. And then after you get that. Sing for five to 10 years and you're going to get tone. And that's how it works. Sing every day for five to 10 years and you will have a beast of a tone. Um, that is, that's how it works. There's just no other way. I don't know anyone. I've never met anyone who's a fantastic singer that has not taken that long. You can compress the time through just sheer work ethic. But as long as as long as the core function of rhythm is done first, then melody, then shitload of practice. That's it. Because you could do a shitload of practice without rhythm and melody and you're just wasting your time. So that is a, a really important uh, aspect to it. Because I know a lot of people that they get really good, they get to a certain level, or they hit like a different, they, they get to a level, say, but they don't respect those, two, those certain things in the right order and then they just stay at that level. So they might be singing for like, they're like, oh, well, I've been singing for 20 years, but it's like, no, you've really been like singing for like three years or two years, and you've just been doing the same two years for 20 years, if that makes sense. So they're not actually growing. They're actually just, they're whatever the snapshot is of, that, of their limitations is where they're at there, and then they just do that for 20 years, and they just don't really improve. Um, so... That's where you can you can level up against those kinds of people, but that's if you. I like to use other people as um, like I look at other people that I'm like, okay, they've got something that I don't have, and then I'm like, okay, well, what is it that they don't have? And then I'm like, then I can reverse engineer what they're doing to try and get myself closer to where I want to go. My main competition is me, but then I use other people as like, you know, oh, that's possible. I'll give it a shot, like. You guys can see Isaac Hunt in the chat. Can you guys see Isaac in the chat? Absolute legend, Isaac. We love him. But I heard him play um, for the first time when I heard him play. He sang Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. And he does the most gorgeous, like, R&B pop runs. It's just so pretty. Just, like, so pretty. And I was like, oh, well, if he can do it, I can do it. So <laughs> I've been practicing as hard as I can to try and do it. <laughs> So I, I use people like my friends. I use people like um, the best musicians in the world. And I'm like, use whoever you've got in your vicinity to learn from and then, and then try to reverse engineer what they do and be like, if, if someone can do it, it's possible. And then you do it. The harder ones are when you like, no one is doing it. And then you're like, well, is this possible? I'm going to have to give this a try. And that's why people like Jimi Hendrix and people like that are like so good like when people are like talk about like Jimi Hendrix or they talk about you know any of these like gigantic players or singers if they were like they've built anytime they innovate or do anything crazy they're doing stuff and no one else is thinking of it so that's why they're that good that's what makes them amazing it's not their actual playing because there's obviously better players <laughs> don't be stealing your tricks Dude, I can never be, I can never be an Isaac. And that's the other thing as well. Um, like, I'm never going to be able to sound like Isaac, ever. I am never going to be able to sound like Ed Sheeran or anyone like that, or Luke Combs. You just want to take whatever you can learn from these people, apply it to your stuff, and then see how, it, how you can change your voice or like your sound. Do I ever play drums? I absolutely suck at drums. There is a drum kit right here though. I have an electronic drum kit. So hopefully that helps you guys when it gets into singing, like how to start singing. Just get in there and just sound like garbage. It's the best. Oh. Well, sometimes I go out by myself.